Hello, welcome back. As we have discussed in the past two videos, the Spawn City concept is about the entire urban water cycle. It is the integrated approach to manage the urban water system. Next technology, governance, and multi-stakeholder process are vital to this success. In this section, I will introduce you to the implementation, governance, and the co-creating of Spawn Cities in China. Spawn City development has been a national policy in China. This has been emphasized in many times by Chinese leaders in many national meetings and documents. Here, I would like to describe several milestones in Spawn City development. In December 2013, President Xi Jinping gave an important speech at the Central Urbanization Working Conference. Here, he emphasized that priority should be given to the rainwater detention and storage use on-site natural approach when upgrading urban drainage facility. This way, we can build in Spawn City keep of storing, infiltrating, detaining, and treating runoff in a natural way. In October 2014, the Ministry of Housing and Urban Rural Development issued a technical document with the title Guideline for Constructing Technology of Spawn City, the Establishment of LID Stormwater System. This is the first official technical document developed for the, this purpose on a national level in China. In October 2015, the General Office of the State Council issued document number 75 entitled Guiding Opinions on Advising the Constructing of Spawn City. In March 2017, Premier Li Keqiang's report on works of government states that first progress will be made in the development of Spawn City. All these efforts are aimed to making the Chinese city more attractive and function better. This statement and report show that Spawn City development is actively supported by the national government of China and that national leaders are promoting it. The Spawn City concept is about entire water cycle. It is an integrated approach to management urban water. Next to technology, governance and multi-stakeholder process are essential for successful implementation. The organization and implementation of such large integrated projects is a challenge in any situations. In China, the organization and implementation of Spawn City contain three interlinked parts. One, government-led policy and governance. Two, technology-led planning. Three, public-private partnership for implementation. We will look at all three in more detail. Although Spawn City are actively promoted by the national government, city government or municipalities are the ones who are mainly responsible for the development of Spawn City in China. Usually, a Spawn City construction office or Spawn City committee is set up. This office or committee will organize and coordinate all aspects related to Spawn City development. The interdisciplinarity of the Spawn City is also overseen and coordinated by this office or committee. This will liaison with government departments responsible for urban planning, environmental protection, landscaping, water resources, urban construction and transportation, and so on. Also, it will act on any difficult situation or crisis. The design of a spawn city is technical lead. This includes the overall design and embedding in spatial planning. The office or committee will set the target and overall strategy in cooperation with municipalities. In the overall project, new green technology, concepts, and methods can be proposed by the private sector. 
these barriers should be integrated and meet the city's basic rational targets that were formulated by the office and municipality. For spatial planning, the mayor needs to be integrated with the urban design, water environment, green space, drainage system, layout of the road, and so on. The development of Spawn City is a comprehensive work, and it is need to involvement and cooperation with each stakeholders. Furthermore, it is very important to attract private capital investing in the Spawn City project. This will lower the financial burden that rests on the local government. So, public-private partnerships are formed for the implementation stage, which includes financial design, construction, the measurement, and the operation and the maintenance works. This PPP contains multiple stakeholders, such as the local municipalities, government agencies, state-owned enterprises, private companies, NGO and MPOs, and the public, all in different manner and roles. China is a big country with different cities that have various natural and social conditions. To achieve the sponsored objective, different cities may need different strategies. In addition, Spawn city development is a quite new since, so there's no successful experience that can fully fit China's condition. In this context, a national Spawn city program was jointly launched by the Ministry of Finance, Housing and Urban Rural Development and the Water Resource in December 2014. The main purpose of the program was to select different typical Chinese cities in different regions to implement the Spawn City development. The program will last for three years and result in a lot of experience. This then form input for the next step in further developing Spawn City on a national level. The money for this pilot Spawn City program came from the national government and the local government, along with different investment from the private sector. Now, uh, through two batch selection, 30 cities were selected, including large cities such as Beijing, Shanghai, and Shenzhen. It is expected that many experience on Spawn City development will be available soon. In conclusion, the Spawn City concept is an integrated approach to making the urban water system more sustainable and its implementation has positive effect on the water balance, urban climate, environment, and the urban quality of life. However, there are also many challenges and barriers in the implementation, governance, and co-creating of the Spawn City concept. It is a promising concept that is still under development. We will do our best to fit in the challenge and overcome the barriers. Technological, governance, and social innovation will help us here. <laughs>